Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Cloud, looking back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald, Randomized Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we went ahead and beat Mountpire, and we took on the Magma Hideout. Now, if you'd like to check that out, uh, I will link the playlist in the description down below, and you guys can enjoy all my exploits. Now, today, we're going to be taking on the Team Aqua Hideout. After we get out of here, because I thought we were done. Now, you guys may notice that I've uploaded a lot just today, and that's because my plan initially was to start on Monday, and that kind of fell through, but I still wanted to give you guys the episodes, so what I decided to do was I was just going to give them all to you right now. This is way out. Put it on this way out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this triple upload day. It, it, it's been a long day, honestly, trying to do this for you guys, but it's definitely worth it. Because I'm trying to build like a little community here. And it's also a good time whenever I have you guys pretty happy to let you know that... Um, I don't think I need to go this way. I should end here, though. So go ahead and let you guys know, though, uh, because of the other projects that I'm getting ready to start, this Emerald series is going to switch to a Monday through Friday series, and we're going to take breaks on the weekends. And this is so it gives me more time to be able to do some extra recording for these other series, and make sure I can also still bring you this five days a week, which is still a lot. Now, I do apologize that it's changing from daily, but I'm also trying to bring you extra content that I feel like you'll enjoy as much or even more than this one. So now I got that out of the way, you get this trip upload, and now you know it is Monday through Friday uploads. Now let's go ahead and have your Lily go. And I think I'm ready to teach um, Nancy. Let's get a cut out of there. Cause I'm Pretty sure I'm done with cut. You know, I realized I also get an encounter in the Aqua Hideout, I'm pretty sure. But for now, I need the Moved Leader House. That's the fan club. I know he has like a sign house, so I think it's this one. Um, if I can actually walk to him. There we go. Strength is probably going to be a final move on Nancy, because it's just such a powerful move. Honestly, I kind of wish I... I really do think about teaching Nancy counter. But I think I had a move set out for it. I just have to look back here at what it is. Is Iron Tail even helpful? Doesn't matter, you can't learn it. I think it was Bone Ring, but I also found Conversion in the last episode, if you guys didn't see that. No one can learn it, but I found it. Can you learn wing attack? No, 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 wait, that's my steel wing team, that's right. Can you learn cross chop? No. Can you learn extreme speed? No, wow. My teams were not well put. I'm pretty sure Bone Ring was the team I wanted to teach him. Which, I'm still gonna go ahead and teach it to him. I don't see why not. Okay, now let's get over here to the Team Aqua Hideout. And we'll get this episode rolling. I'm pretty sure I already got my encounter here. Yeah, I did. Okay, so do I get... Oh, wait, can I not do this yet? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I have to go to, um, Slayport and watch the sub go out. I totally forgot about that. My bad, guys. I always forget that. It's just such an irrelevant detail, like, you have to fly here just so you can watch the sub leave, 
and then go back. If, no, it's it's up here. Yeah, there we go. Yes, indeed. We intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's so wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking time from your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with some news from more discoveries. Whoa. That was my first time being filmed for TV. I was a nervous wreck. Oh, Doc, you're looking great. We made a huge discovery on our last C4 exploration. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128. I think it's just... I think it's the habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have long existed. Alright. <clears throat> Look at this. Captain Stern, I presume. We, the members... We, of Team Aqua, will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. Fuh, fuh, fuh. Just watch and learn what Team Aqua has planned. What was that all about? It sounded like someone's using the megaphone. Where did it come from? It's from the harbor. The submarine. They're trying to take it. Uh. Please come with me. Ooh. Killing my voice here. Oh, not you again. We are anxiously. Oh, you were intentionally to track us here. That much I'll give you. But now, no one can stop us. No one. Or, or we follow us back to the hideout in Lily Cove City. <laughs> Why? Why would Team Aqua steal my submarine Explorer 1? They can't be after the Sunburn Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. But even if I were to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. Okay. Ooh. Okay, what I don't, one thing I don't understand. First of all, what is the what is that like F U F U F U F U thing like it's like I, I read as I keep reading this like fa 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 like they're stuttering there. I mean I know it's not but that's just what I'm reading it as. And I don't see anything trying to correct me. Like, it, is it like a ch evil chuckle? Is that what that's supposed to be? I feel like it's very poorly explained what that is. If only we had voice acting in Pokemon. Wait, can I get an encounter in here? I feel like for the purpose of the episode, I'm gonna speed up here real quick. I don't think I can. And let's just check real quick if I can fish in here. Um. No. Just gonna make extra sure here. Okay. We'll go ahead and move through. They make such strange noises. You see that's like, I Like, what is that? Who says that? Oh, perfect chance to use Bone Ring. For some reason... Okay, I was about to say, I thought Bone Ring hit twice. It'd be weird if it said it only hit once and it only normally hit once, that does make a lot of sense. So I'm pretty sure it does hit twice. That was unnecessary to keep talking to me. I also find it odd that they give you an encounter in Team Magma's hideout but not Team Aqua's. Or maybe in the later on in here you get an encounter maybe? Oh, wait, isn't this where you get the Master Ball normally? No, no, that's right, there's static encounters. That's right. These are very strange noises that are happening in my ear. We're right in this battle. Come at me. 
I got a slacking. I don't got nothing on him. On her. I want to call it him all the time. I want to call almost all my Pokemon him. Because that's just like how I talk whenever I'm saying their names. See how Bone Ring does against the Metagross. Pretty well. Yeah. Actually, really well. That was definitely worth teaching. It's already coming in handy. Alright, um... I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I know there's more to do, but I just can't remember which way you're supposed to go first. So what I'm gonna do is, um... I am just gonna pick a way, and if I need to go back, then we'll just go back. It's no problem. See, Tamrat, this is another moment would be good for you to have um, an electric type move. Not a brain fart there. I think Nancy using Poison Tail with her arm is like super scary, just like that massive bicep just swinging down at you. It's like Sniper's Blade Tail, but scarier because it's like. It's like your hand flat and you're like stabbing at them. Does that count as getting hit by a move? Oh. Um, so I know you're gonna be looking around. So we'll just do that. Good. Uh, doing nothing. What's a Fampy gonna do? Really though, what is a Fampy gonna do? Oh, it's getting ready for rollout. That could be scary. You know, I kind of like this game because you do get both evil teams. But who's your guys' favorite evil team? Like, in... I'm not saying, like, just for this game. Like, in general, who are you, who's your favorite evil team? All the way up into the 7th gen remakes for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because we're going to include Rainbow Rocket in this. Uh, that's kind of scary. Oh, I thought I spelled, like, switch targets. Ow. I'm trying to think now, like... Who do I personally enjoy the most? Um, hmm. I really did enjoy Rainbow Rocket, but I feel like that's coming to mind first because, first of all, I already said it, and second of all, that's the most recent one I played. I'm not really feeling the Aether Foundation or Team Skull. Team Flare was okay. Um, hmm. Who else is there? Because there's... Oh gosh, so is it Plasma? Is that what the next one is? For 5th gen? Um... Plasma's... Wait, is it Plasma? I'm pretty sure it's not Galactic. I think that was, uh... 4th gen. Um, so let's go with Plasma, yeah. I kind of like the original black and white Plasma. Whenever they had, like, N as more of a leader figure. I thought they were pretty cool. Oh, I also thought, um, Xenia doing her own thing in the and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire were, was pretty cool. She was just a pretty cool character in general. I kind of wish they'd keep using her. Man, what is Slack King holding? I thought he was holding leftovers. Amulet coin. So he's just making money for me. 
I guess I do give Sly King the ball to take those hits whenever he's looking around. So it kind of makes sense. Because I guess if he did make him an all attacker, you'd have to basically... Uh, well, I guess in this case, you could just drop his speed, because he's fairly fast, too. I don't know where I'm going. Alright, that's like a good time to go ahead and do the question of the day. So, question today. What is your favorite children's book? Ooh, look at Charizard. Let's see. What is my favorite children's book? My mind goes sorry to like Dr. Seuss, because like when I was a kid, that's what we were being read in like kindergarten and stuff. And I always thought that the way he did his characters and just the abstract quality that he did just attached itself to children very well and even adults sometimes. He was very good for a childhood book. I can't think of like an immediate book that he actually did. Um, let's see. Who else? Yeah, Curious George. It was always kind of fun. Fun little read you could do. Hmm. There's a Tyranitar on my screen. Do you have Sandstream? Yes, you do. Hmm. See how this goes real quick before we continue this topic about a curious monkey. Um, please don't use Earthquake. Is, I think Bug is physical in this game. It's not really great for me. It's not the best, but I think it's better. Oh, and Tamrat avoided it. Let's see if Revenge will still take out. Nope. I guess it's okay. It didn't take too much damage in general in that fight. Um, alright. So, Dr. Seuss, like, one that I just remember pretty well is, like, he took some newspapers and instead of, like, actually delivering them, he went and made, like, uh, paper boats and just put them in a river. And I was thinking, man, I would really like to do that. Let me just get, like, a... be a newspaper delivery boy, and I'm just gonna deliver your boats to the river. Deliver your newspaper to the river. It was just a fun little thing, you know? It's kind of rebellious, but at the same time, it was just innocence. Didn't really know any better. You know, you saw the monkey go on the streets. Like, what do you think it's going to do? Oh, I really like the uh, Magic Treehouse books. Those are some of my favorite whenever I was younger. I like, randomly found them in my local library, and... They were... I just, like, instantly liked them. I like, I'm like a very fantasy, sci-fi oriented person, and I always loved them. They were some of the most fun in reading that I had. And I never, I don't think I ever really got to the end of like that series. I'm really trying to think now. Did I ever get to the end of the Magic Trio series? Oh. Sorry, guys. Um, I know... I'm pretty sure I did, because it was like... They basically turned back into normal kids and didn't have their Magic Treehouse anymore that took them like all throughout time. I forgot to say spoilers right there, but it's okay.
keep forgetting that I loaf around. I'm just expecting like all out attack right now. Um, Magic Trios were very like influential whenever I was that age. Which I think that was through like elementary school mainly was when I was reading those. And um And they were always just very interesting stories for me. I always wanted to read more of them. I think they're the way it didn't go. So... A lot of the stories just kind of stuck with me and are in my mind, like, even now, like... Um, I remember them meeting, like, a native... Uh... I think it was in like the rainforest or Africa and they just shared like some peanut butter with him and he would he gave them like the clue or something that they were looking for I don't know like they're just random little facts that stick with me like that especially with those books oops I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run from this one because I don't see a reason in catching just a higher level mobile when I can just train mine and not waste my pokeball supply. So we're just going to run from this. Um, I know after. Oh, do I even need charcoal? Do I even have a fire type? I do. Okay. Um. Ooh. That's fun. Um. But. After the Magic Trios, I now ended up moving to the Percy Jackson series of books. And those, to this day, I enjoy. Because, uh. Oh, wow, I just one shot at that thing. I thought I could take at least one. Oops. Oh. No encounter or no capture for today. Doing good on that. Wow. Great, great randomization. Randomizations there. Um, so anyways, um, I jumped right to the Percy Jackson series after the, uh, brain fart, right after the Magic Trios books, and like I said, I enjoy those still today because Picard is just, he's just so great at creativity and incorporating the, uh, current uh, social issues facing um, a younger generation and I feel like he encompasses it very well at, while also incorporating a modern aspect of what mythology and paganism would be. Alright. I guess this, this is the third episode for today. We're going to go ahead and call it here. So... I hope you guys enjoyed me running through running through and running over Team Aqua. So always remember, if you guys get lost, I'll link the playlist in the description down below for every video. If you wish to know when these videos go up, you can always follow my Twitter, which is also linked in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And always always remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so please have some blueberries. <laughs>